The Smith machine squat is a cousin to a barbell squat. But with the Smith machine, the path of the bar is fixed, so you will have to consider feet placement for proper form. If you were using an angled machine, like in most gyms today, you should face out. Move the bar to a height just below your shoulders, step under the bar and position it on your traps, not your neck. Rotate the bar to unhook the hinges. Slowly descend to a seated position with your chest up and head forward, then drive through your feet to stand up. You should stand slightly in front of the bar. The ideal spot for most is three to six inches from the bar, but you will have to experiment to find what is right for you. It is common to stand too close, which will cause your knees to travel too far over your feet. On the other hand, if you are too far forward, your back will round on the way down. If flexibility is an issue, descend only to the point where your back begins to round and then stop. Also be mindful of your knees on the descent. If they cave inward, you have muscle imbalances that should be corrected. No matter the equipment used, be sure to use proper form. Ideally, the bar should track vertically over the middle of your foot. I have found that foot width and angle play a big role in my ability to squat to parallel. Try doing squats barefoot with light weight to feel how slight adjustments impact your range of motion and stability. One of the arguments against the Smith machine is that it reduces the development of core strength. However, if you have a well-rounded routine that includes movements that require stabilization and core strength, you should not hesitate to include Smith machine squats in your program. Personally, I like to use the Smith machine for squats because I can do a low bar squat with the bar placed very low on my traps. This takes some of the pressure off my knees.